I've had lots of requests for me to make a video about the dangly thing on the back of your throat. So let's talk about the uvula. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a registered dental hygienist here to talk about the small fleshy piece of tissue that hangs down from the soft palate. It's usually visible when you open your mouth wide and it's called your uvula. Now, you might be wondering, why do we have uvulas and what does your uvula do? So, this tiny soft teardrop shaped tissue hanging down at the back of your throat, it's technically part of the soft palate, the back of the roof of your mouth, and it's made up of connective tissue, muscle, and glands. While it might not get much attention, the uvula plays a surprising important role in your oral and overall health, including it helps with speech. The uvula helps control the airflow through your mouth and your nose, shaping certain sounds, especially in languages like French and Arabic. Without it, some words might sound overly nasal. Also, it helps with swallowing. It acts like a traffic controller, directing foods and liquids down your esophagus and away from your nasal passages. And additionally, it helps with throat lubrication. The uvula can secrete saliva to keep your throat moist, making swallowing and speaking smoother. Now, a question lots of people ask is, can we live without it? Interestingly, some people don't have a uvula at all due to surgery or birth differences, or some may even have a bifid uvula where it looks like there's two of them. Others may have had it removed. This is called a uvulectomy, sometimes done to treat snoring or obstructive sleep apnea. So yes, while you can live without a uvula, it may lead to issues like dry throat or changes in speech. Not always, but sometimes. Now, if you have a uvula, which many of us do, Sometimes it can get swollen, a condition called uvulitis. Causes include infections, bacterial or viral, allergies like food or environmental triggers, and irritants like smoking, alcohol, or even hot foods. Symptoms might include difficulty swallowing, a sore throat, or even gagging. If your uvula gets swollen and it's bothering you, it's a good idea to see a doctor or a dentist to rule out any other serious issues. You know, making sure that you did in fact irritate it and that it didn't just randomly start getting swollen on its own. Some fun facts about the uvula. It can be a real game changer for singers. It can help create the vibrato sound. Wise man. Okay, I'm not a singer. Let's insert a professional clip. That's better. Another interesting fact is that it is part of your gag reflex, protecting your airway. Talk about multitasking, right? And again, while the uvula isn't essential for survival, it plays a helpful role. Without it, like we said, you might have more dryness in the back of your throat, and also certain speech sounds might be harder to pronounce. It's also worth noting that elongated uvulas or malformations can sometimes cause snoring or sleep apnea, which we kind of mentioned, which may require treatment. So next time you take a peek at your uvula, give it some appreciation. It's doing more than you realize. If you've ever had issues with snoring, swelling, or other uvula-related concerns, don't hesitate to chat with a healthcare professional like your doctor or dentist. And of course, this is an oral health YouTube channel, and the uvula is technically included in the oral cavity, but I usually focus on the teeth and gums. So before we go, I want to remind you of how important it is to keep your teeth and gums healthy because if there's bad bacteria hanging out all up in your mouth, of course it can spread and affect other parts of your mouth and throat as well, like the uvula. I have a bunch of bad breath videos, which I'll link below, explaining how bad breath can form from simply not flossing, not tongue scraping, but also it can form from things going on in the back of your throat. So I'll link those videos of mine below if you'd like to learn more. And also I'll link my free oral care guide below. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. Many people brush and floss, but they do it wrong. They're using incorrect techniques. So make sure you're using proper technique when brushing and flossing and even tongue scraping by checking out my free oral care guide. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, teeth, and uvulas. Ah. Uh...